Folks, welcome back. I have your latest home prices and insights for the city of Toronto for week ending March the 2nd, 2022. We've been talking over the last two or three weeks on these videos of how we're seeing signs that the market is shifting. There's more signs of it in this report. When I get into the numbers shortly, I'll point to some of these signs for you. But we've been able to help three of our buyers over the last two weeks that we couldn't help before. We've successfully helped them buy. One of them in particular, we were able to buy a property seven days after the property had an offer night. Now on offer night, the expectations to buy within my client's budget wasn't there. Seven days after, expectations, expectations changed and we were able to buy within my client's budget. And there's more and more of these situations out there. So if you're on the listing side or you're, you're thinking of listing, it's so important you hire the right agent that really understands that there is a shift. Now it's not widespread and it's not in every single property, but it's funny, you know, one home could sell on a street at a phenomenal price and just a few days later, another home that you expect to sell at the same or higher price sells lower and and it, it's sometimes tough to explain but there's certain shifts going on in the market that if you're not prepared as a as a listing agent well you're not going to be doing your clients the right service and on the buying side if you're looking to buy now's not the time to take your foot off the gas now's the time to really be working with an agent that could see some of these opportunities or even create some of these opportunities for you where you couldn't buy before, but now you might have some chances out there. Why are these shifts happening? Well, there's a few things going on. I'm sure buyer fatigue is playing into it where there's less people showing up on offer night. I'm sure also part of it is seller's expectations have been too high for too long. So that's changing there and playing into the, the, the some of these listing agents are listing properties at, at crazy, crazy prices and they're just not getting the numbers. We recently had an interest rate uh, increase. That's playing into it and, and it's all up here, playing into people's heads. Buyers thinking maybe prices are coming down so they've backed off. Sellers worried that because of the interest rate prices might be coming down so they're willing to accept a, a little bit lower price on their home. All these things playing into it causing, um, causing prices to shift slightly. Don't get me wrong, still very much a seller's market but there is a shift that you can be taken advantage of. If you feel this video is going to help somebody you know, please pass the video along. Let's get into the numbers. you want to reach us to talk about real estate, maybe your real estate situation, it's really simple. In the description below, there's a link to my calendar. Click on that. Book a time that's convenient for you. This way, I'll know ahead of time when we're going to chat and I'll make sure my schedule is organized so we're able to talk about whatever's on your mind. So how serious is this market shift in Toronto real estate? Well, we've been able to take advantage of and create opportunities for some of our buyer clients that we couldn't have done just two or three weeks ago. We've, we work with buyers and sellers and we have strategies for helping our buyer clients and we've had to change now our strategies to help our seller clients so they can continue to take advantage of the seller's market that we're in. So the changes, they're not widespread. The shift that we're talking about is not massive. It's still very much a seller's market. But there's opportunities and, and, and we've been able to create opportunities that, like I said, we couldn't have just a few weeks ago. Let's get into the numbers. I have here City of Toronto detached only a whole year broken down by week. Sales jumped way up. We sold 254 detached properties in Toronto for week ending March the 2nd. 81 of those properties were sold at $2 million or more. Now, 81 is a huge jump from the previous week where we sold 62 properties at $2 million or more. So we went up by 19. 
You figure when you go up that many more properties at $2 million or more, that average sole price one week to the next should be much higher, but it wasn't actually average sole price came down. It's now sitting under $2 million. It even sounds weird to say that average sole. We should be excited we're under $2 million. Average sole price is $1,996,000 for the average detached property sold last week. That's 70% higher than what it was last year at this time. So average sole price is 17% higher. Median price is 18% higher. So pretty much on par there. Now when we look at sales, the 254 is pretty similar, just shy by two of what we sold last year at this time. But that was a year ago. Compared to last week, we're much higher. And so far this year, 254 is the best week that we've had. And you know, as we head into the, the warmer months, the warmer months in the spring season, we expect sales to go up. 84% of those sales though sold at list price or more. So very much a seller's market, but like I said, there are some opportunities in there. Now, if we look at year to date, this is really interesting. If we look at sales from January 1st to March 2nd, we're 10% lower than what we were selling last year at this time. And if we look at listings, listings are year to date 1.1% higher than what we were last year. So you wonder, we got more listings, why are sales lower? Well, when we look at listings, right up until last week, we were basically listing less than what we were listing last year. It's only this last week we listed 497 properties, which helps to understand why sales also jumped so much. Active listings is higher at 790. I expect sales next week to be even higher than what it was this week. Months of inventory is sitting at 0.7. Average days on market is sitting at eight, and overall, like I said, average sold price came down. Now, that's for all the city of Toronto. When we break Toronto down between east, west, and central, well, we can see that average sold price actually has come down in each of the three parts of Toronto. Looking at the west side of Toronto, months of inventory is sitting at 0.6. The average sold price came down. It's sitting at 1,707,000. Again, this is west part of Toronto. 87% of those sales sold at list price or more. So it's still very competitive. Um, average sold price is 14% higher than what it was a year ago. And the median price is 24% higher than what it was a year ago. Looking at central, average sold price came down to 2,761,000. 1 1.1 is the months of inventory. 71% sold at list price or more. Average sold price, 14% higher year over year. And median, 23% higher year over year. And looking at the east side. Now the east is normally our more competitive side, more volume. A uh, uh, higher percentage of increase. Well, average sold price came down. We're sitting at 1,522,000. Months of inventory sitting at 0.5. 92% sold at list price or more. 92%. Average sold price is 17% higher than what it was last year, and median price is 23% higher than what it was a year ago. If I'm going quickly with these slides here, just pause the video, have a look at the numbers. I'm just moving along here. Looking at semis, well, semis went up in price. It's a new record of 1,605,000 for the average semi. Months of inventory sitting at 0.4. 98% sold at list price or more. The semis, very competitive market. Average sold price is 23% higher than what it was a year ago, and the median price is 21% higher. What about townhouses? Average sold price for towns went up also. It, it, you know what's happening is the detached market has gotten so high at over $2 million average sold price, it's shifting more and more people to look at semis, towns, and condos. Well, the average sold price for towns, $1,384,000. All of them, we sold only 26 townhouses. This is the freehold townhouse market. All of them sold at list price or more. Average sold price is 9% higher than last year 
and the median price is 10% higher. Now 9%, 10%, it, it's, I mean, it's obviously a great percentage year over year increase, but it sounds so little compared to the 23, 24% of some of the other market types. But keep in mind, townhouses have been high for a while now. So we're going nine and 10% higher last year's price, which was already a super high price, which is, you know, actually arguable to say that the other market types are also pretty high last year. And months of inventory sitting at 0.5 for townhouses. Let's look at condos. Sales went up from the previous week. We're at, we sold 464 condos last week. 72 of those were at a million dollars or more. A very busy week for condos. Average sold price came down slightly to 829,000 for the average condo, which is 18% higher than what it was last year at this time. So average sold price is 18% higher. Median price is also 18% higher than what it was a year ago. Let's look at sales. Of the 464 that sold, 86% sold at list price or more, which has come down over the last couple of weeks, that percentage. When we look at sales year to date, so January 1st to March 2nd, sales are down year over year by 15.3%. That's a big drop from last year's sales at this time. Listings are down 1.1%. We listed 762 condos last week, which was a good week for listings compared to what we have on the board here and we expect to see more and more condo listings come up so here's where we're starting you know I've talked about maybe looking at some of the evidence and the, the, the shifts are slight like this is not a thousand or twelve hundred or fifteen hundred listings it's 762 which is higher than we've had for a long time now and the more listings we see in condos and in the detached market the more choices there are, the more choices, the more competition for sellers out there, which buyers have choices, it kind of helps stabilize the price or in some situations, bring the price down. These are some of the subtle changes that we're seeing out there. Months of inventory for condos is sitting at 0.6 and nine is the average days on market. When we look at the summary, some months of inventory are down, some haven't moved, some stayed the same, some are up. You know, townhouses and condos, months of inventory is up slightly. Still a seller's market, but there's some shifting going on. There's some opportunities that weren't there just a few weeks ago. You want to be on the, the right side of the opportunity and you can still be taking advantage of the market if you're on the selling side. But you got to know these, shift is, these shifts and you got to be prepared to have a strategy in place to properly deal with them or you're going to be on the wrong side of that shift. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.